we're going to install Ubuntu. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go to a web browser and type in Ubuntu. And then we're going to go to the website. Now, from this toolbar at the top, we're going to go to downloads and we want the desktop. Okay, so we're going to download the desktop. We're going to look at this first. You need to check, do the spec check, the hardware survey, uh, survey and make sure that your system is going to be able to support this system. I know it's going to be running in a VM, but you still need to make sure that your processor is the right kind of processor that you're going to have enough memory um, and space okay so let's assume you have we go to download this is the next page now you can um, make donation if you if you wish to And if you don't, then you can just cross all these out. Okay, so it's, it's now it's now zero. Now we're going to go to download. And we've got yet another page. And it's going to download now. Okay, so like it's... Uh, you saw it just come there and here it's downloading here um, so that's going to take a while uh, to download so I'll be back in a minute now you've downloaded Ubuntu you're going to open up VirtualBox um, I, I, I've already got some installed here and you'll notice I, I've already got Ubuntu desktop installed but I'm going to install it again um, just to show you what to do so you click on new that's this one up here you're going to name it and you're going to make sure that it's the right type so you want Linux and the version Ubuntu 64-bit if you downloaded the 64-bit version. If you're using a Mac, then you would have done. Then click continue. You're going to need to create at least two gigabytes of memory and then click continue. Now here, um, create virtual hard disk now. That is what you want to do. So create a virtual disk image. Yes, that's, that's what you want to do. So click continue. Here you have a choice uh, of whether uh, you want it fixed sized or for it to expand. So we're going to leave it on this one, the dynamically allocated. We're going to click continue. Select at least 25 gigabytes of space. So now create. So now we're going to, we see it, it's, it's popped up here. So now we go to um, start. Now we're going to actually install it. So um, we're going to look for this this little icon here because you're looking for the location. So we're going to we're going to click on that and. Here it is. It, so if you've downloaded it to your download folder, you want to go to your download folder, find the disk image, and then click on it. And you can see that now it's here in this box. Now click Start. So 
So this can take um, a little while, but uh, hopefully not too long. And it's just going to take you through the different steps that you need to go through in order to be able to install it. So now we're at the installation window. Now you can try Ubuntu, which means you basically just run it as a live disk and um, it doesn't install it onto your operating system. But we want to make sure that we want to install it. So um, we make sure that this is on English and um, then click install. Check both of these boxes. So now continue. Now um, it, it's saying to us that uh, there's no operating system detected because it it believes that the disk that we've created is the only disk in the world. So um, we're going to stick with this first one and go to install now. This is just confirmation. Continue. Um, so uh, your location, just pick the correct location and then continue. Okay, so the keyboard layout, English, UK, and um, I've got a Mac, so I'm going to go English, UK, Macintosh, okay, and then click continue. Enter your name. Alright, um, I'm going to leave that username as that. I'm going to put um, a simple pass because this is just a tutorial, but you would pick something more suitable, okay? Okay, and we're going to leave everything else the way it is. So, I mean, you could click this one, but we'll just leave it for the way it is. And now continue. I'm going to fast forward through this because this could take quite some time. So um, I'll see you when it's finished and you will get a dialogue box saying that you should restart your computer. And it's saying that we need to restart the computer, so we restart. You'll get a black box come up, and then you're going to power off and restart the machine. Power off the machine and then click OK. Now click on the one you've just installed, which is this one. Now go to Start. Put in your password. Here it is. 
is started up. So, um, but it's into into full screen. Okay, now it's running in full screen. But you'll notice that there's these big black bars down the side here, and um, you, you don't want that really, do you? Okay, so if you go to Devices, Insert Guest Editions CD Image, Okay, so now just click on Run, put in your password again, and click Authenticate. Allow this program to run, and then when it's done, it will ask you to press Return. Press Return to close this window. So you do that. Right now, um, if you go to shut down, okay, and now make sure that's selected and go to start again. password and now you can see it fills the whole screen there is one last thing that you need to do here so if you go to search um, start typing terminal and, and then terminal will come up Click on that, and if you do so, do U F W status. It's all in lowercase. Pop in the password, and there you can see. So the U F W is the firewall and it says there that the status is inactive so you want to make it active so you could have typed sudo u f u f w enable Now it's saying that the uh, firewall is active and enabled on system startup. So next time you shut it down and start it up, the, the firewall will be active. So you're done now, so you can just exit out of here. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.